Well, would you look at that morning sunshine streaming through. Oh, this view just makes me so, so happy. I feel like there is nothing better than winter sunshine on a February morning. My goodness me. Well, sorry about that little gush this morning, but good morning everyone. and Welcome back to my channel. I am just in the best mood this morning. We have a beautiful, I was gonna say blue skies, got a little bit of cloud, but the sun is streaming through it and that is all that matters. A beautiful wintry sunshine day. It's quite chilly outside, but I have no plans to leave the house. In fact, I actually have really, really lovely plans today that I've been looking forward to all week. I'm gonna be hosting a bit of a Galentine's brunch today, which I'm really, really looking forward to. I've got just a couple of girlfriends coming over and we're just gonna have some croissants, have some coffee, sit, have a bit of a debrief, a bit of a chat, and basically just celebrate a bit of Galentine's. I feel like sometimes, especially around like the Valentine's kind of hype, you can forget to celebrate your female friendships as well. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're just gonna spend the morning celebrating our female friendships, celebrating our kind of support network that we've got for each other. And the fact that the sun is shining today, it's just the cherry on the cake. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'm gonna do a tablescape. And actually this is the thing that I love most about my Nespresso coffee machine. I always talk about my Nespresso machine so, so much. Like honestly, you must think I'm an ambassador for the Nespresso at this point, but I've never worked with them. I just adore their machines and I actually adore their brand ethos. I feel like the way that they kind of conduct themselves, the way that their machines just offer that kind of like ease of use yet it doesn't sacrifice taste i don't want to say i'm a coffee snob but i'm definitely someone that like a nice coffee is important to me i have a coffee pretty much every single day and i like to have a latte i don't just like a black coffee i'm not someone that like has no flavor or has no kind of like um milk and like no frothiness i like a frothy sweet latte and the fact that i'm able to do that in the nespresso machine is so so lovely and especially when you're hosting people i cannot tell you how many people i've gone around to their houses and they have the fanciest coffee machines in the world um, like what's the one that people talk about that are literally in like coffee shops is it La Lanzo Lamazoco I think I know people that have got those kinds of coffee machines and sure the coffee tastes amazing but they don't get to spend any time with their guests like they are literally spending the entire time making a coffee it takes about 15 minutes to make a decent coffee whereas an espresso takes two minutes you barely have to think about it so I really love that so I'm going to be doing coffees for the girls I've got croissants in it ready for some lovely morning pastries but I want to get started with the tablescape. That's the thing I've been most excited about. You know we love a tablescape. I know you love a tablescape. I love a tablescape. I feel like because I'm not a chef and the food isn't the like extravagant thing. The food isn't like the exciting thing whenever people come over to my house. For me, it's the styling, the tablescaping and just the vibe that we create. So we're going to do a little bit of a Valentine's Galentine's tablescape together. I'm sorry, but can we actually just take another minute for this sunshine? It is making me so happy. We've had a few gray sky days, and I feel like here in the UK, we know to embrace the sunshine days when they come, because they are few and far between. Um, but, tablescape. I am gonna be going for a real like red and pink theme. I feel like the flowers, I'm gonna keep on the table. I'll move them just so that we can put the tablecloth down, but it's gonna be like a real focus of the table and a real color scheme because, I mean, if you can't do pink and red, for Valentine's and Galentine's, then when can you? I'm not gonna lie, I have literally been waiting to use this tablecloth that I picked up from H&M. You would have seen this in my what I got in the January sales video, and I love it so, so much. Alex, did say it's a little bit much when you're like not doing like a proper kind of hosting session. He was like, I like it, but I don't want it out all the time, which is completely fair enough. But I feel like on a day like today, it is perfect. And of course, the flowers go perfectly on the table. I love how that looks. I'm gonna push them back a bit. So I think I'm just gonna set up one, two, three like this. I've actually seen that H&M at home do some really cute little kind of like pink beveled placemats, which if you're going all out with the pink theme would be really cute. I'm just gonna use my normal placemats. These are from Amazon Home. I get questions about them all the time and they're just so useful because they're bendy, they wipe down, they're so great. I'm not gonna lie to you as well, I kind of can't believe I haven't shown you this yet, but the napkins I have literally been saving since Christmas because I may have nicked these from Glen Eagles Townhouse when we visited up in Edinburgh because I just fell in love with the like pinky tones. You've got the gorgeous, I don't know how, which way the G goes. G, how do you do a G? 
Gee. I cannot tell which way is upside down and which way is the right way around. I think that way might be the right way around. Um, but I loved the fact that it had like the pink with the kind of red um, embroidery in it. I thought it was so, so cute. So these are going to be my napkins of the day. And I feel like they just go with the theme so, so well. Pink and red for Valentine's. What could be better? goodness is this not just the cutest little galentine's brunch setup you have ever ever seen i hope you could see the time lapse from before because obviously with the sun streaming in um this area is very backlit but i'm so happy with how it is looking it's a really simple brunch like it's literally nothing fancy we're just doing croissants pastries and coffees um but i just wanted to make it feel a little bit special so of course we've got the gorgeous glen eagles pink napkins which i absolutely adore i've only put up nice because I feel like you don't actually need a fork to eat a pastry. Is that weird? Should I put up forks? I'm just going to put out a knife. And because we've got the tablecloth, I feel like I don't need an actual um, coaster for the drinks. I'm just going to use my favourite coffee mugs um, and that will be super, super simple. So I've just got simple M&S um, crockery and then the napkins. And I absolutely love that. I've brought out my teapot. Not that I don't think anyone will be having tea, but mainly because it goes with the theme. And it just looks really, really cute. I've put out quite a few things. I feel like I literally just for aesthetic. Like this gorgeous bowl. This is from... Oh, I'm going to have to try and remember the name now. Charland, England. Oh my gosh, it's the most beautiful brand. It's from Louise, is it Louise Rowe, who created the brand. And they just do the most beautiful, like, country home interior products. They do lots of crockery. They do, like, vases, things like that. And this is my absolute favourite. If it's still available, I will leave it linked down below. And again, love the fact that it matches the theme so, so perfectly. So I've just lit a few candles. I have brought them as far away from the flowers as possible because I do not want to have a fire risk at my kitchen table. But I've got a gorgeous Bramley one burning, which is the scent. I really, really love this one. This is kind of scenting the whole room. And then these ones are scentless i was about to say flavorless no scentless um but i really love how they look it's the first time using my new white company candlesticks which i absolutely adore they fit so so perfectly and i love how they look on the table i just think they are really lovely and like minimalistic so it means that i can kind of focus the actual table elsewhere and it means that there are other things that kind of are the focus point of the table um i've also got another candle over here this is one that i literally have had forever and haven't lit but i thought it was the perfect candle to light for a little galentine's brunch it's a beautiful little H&M the home one and it's just got a little face on it which I think is absolutely adorable so I've lit that one as well I've then brought this out which you would have seen me setting up brought it out of storage I literally just keep it flat in the cupboard because obviously it is very difficult to store but that's what I love about it it's a cake stand that Alex got from Amazon I'll leave it linked down below if you do want to shop it and you can either put silver or gold um, on it it comes with both and it is so handy because you literally just unscrew it and then it goes completely flat when you put it away and I always think it's just such a lovely way to display things like pastries and croissants and things like that so once I've got them out of the oven I'll heat them up before everyone arrives I will put them on the cake stand and then it means everyone can just help themselves I've also made sure that everyone can help themselves by just putting out different kind of um like jams and things we've got strawberry jam I've got Nutella in case anyone wants Nutella in their croissant um obviously they can have them plain as well or we've also got maple syrup in the cutest little maple syrup jar um and then I think this is also a type of maple syrup as well Brilliant. This actually it was brought back to me from Canada by Lady C. Um, she also brought me back like a maple butter and that was absolutely insane. I need to find if there's a way that I can get my hands on that here in the UK. Um, and then I've also just got my little jug that matches my teapot and, as well. And of course my flowers taking center stage. I am so, so happy with how it's looking. I'm going to run upstairs now and just do the last little bits just to get myself ready before everyone arrives. 
So, super quick, a little makeup top up before everyone arrives. I've not been wearing the makeup for too long, so I feel like it's not too disheveled, but I always find whenever I'm like tablescaping and running around, especially when I'm hosting, everything gets a little bit disheveled. I am going for a bit of a Galentine's pink look. I'm not really going for a pink outfit because I don't really have much pink in my wardrobe anymore. In fact, do I have anything pink in my wardrobe anymore? I don't think I do, but... I am going for a little bit of a pinky look and I'm obsessed at the moment with the Giorgio Armani blush. This is in the shade 50. It's the Luminous Silk Glow Blush, Blush Eclat, and it is beautiful. I love this on my cheeks, but I've also put a little bit on my eyes. I don't know if you can see, so I've gone for a bit of a pinky eye look, which I thought was just perfect for Galentine's and perfect to match the theme. And then on my lips, I'm also using Giorgio Armani. This is the Lip Power in the shade 109. And it's kind of like, I wouldn't say it's matte at all, Tall. It's like a really lovely kind of velvet lipstick and I really really like it. It's a beautiful nudie pinky shade Such a perfect like your lips, but better shade the one thing I don't like about the Giorgio Armani packaging I mean, I love the fact that the lipstick is in this kind of like petal kind of shape I think is beautiful But I don't like the fact that the lid is red because I keep thinking this is a red lipstick and then having to remind myself that it's actually just a beautiful nude so I'm doing that, gone for minimal jewellery, um, starting up with just a jumper dress, which is always my favourite thing when it comes to hosting. And then perfume, I'm going to go for Jo Malone's Scarlet Poppy, because to me, this is a very, like, Valentine scent. In fact, I'm pretty sure they've just released a new version, not of the Scarlet Poppy, but their new kind of Valentine's perfume. They're, like, early spring, pre-spring Valentine's perfume, which I cannot remember the name of it, but I've seen a few people talking about it online, so I will leave it linked down below if you are looking for a new perfume. It would also make a lovely valentine's gift although by the time this video goes live i think it's valentine's day tomorrow yes i think it's valentine's tomorrow so let me know Ooh, just spray my face then let me know what your valentine's plans are i would love to know what you're doing whether it's galentine's valentine's comment below what your plans are i am so excited to just spend the morning with some really lovely girlfriends and just enjoy a bit of a galentine's brunch so they should be here any minute now i'm gonna head downstairs and get my hosting hat on well. <laughs> I bet you were not expecting the next clip in this vlog to be me sitting here looking rather different to how I did yesterday. I am not going to lie to you. I was the world's worst vlogger yesterday. I don't think I got my vlogging camera out at the Galentine's brunch once. I just went fully into hostess mode. And this is the problem, especially if it's like just me hosting. Sometimes if we do things like, I don't know, Sunday lunches or like barbecues and it's both Alex and I hosting, I can sometimes take a little bit of time just to like get the vlogging camera out, show a few clips. But yesterday I was just in full host mode. I was also just in like full Galentine's girls day mode. I feel like I just wanted to be fully present and catch up with the girls. And I'm that person that I just, you know, I'm like, once you start me talking, I I am like a freight train. I'm just, I can not stop. We had the loveliest, loveliest brunch yesterday. It was so much fun. And I feel like there's still time to do a little Galentine's, like a last minute Galentine's brunch this weekend. Because obviously Valentine's has kind of fallen in the middle of the week. I feel like you could definitely just text your girlfriends, a couple of pals and just be like, you know what? Come on over. Let's do brunch. Let's do mimosas. Let's do a movie night. Just spend a little bit of time together and enjoy a bit of a galentine's treat um so it's been a bit of a chill one this morning because i'm not gonna lie as much as i loved hosting i do always feel like i need i need a bit of a day after like a big social event so i've just been having a bit of a slow morning i put a hair mask in this morning as well as i was on my laptop and doing a bit of admin and i wanted to unbox this with you because i i'm not gonna lie to you i literally couldn't wait as soon as it arrived i was like i need to test this out because i feel like i haven't really hair masked since getting my new haircut and despite the fact that it's shorter despite the fact that it's a lot healthier i still need to make sure that i am looking after it so this is a very exciting delivery from garnier this is their new supercharged hair food super powered head now boosted with vitamins c e and f hair masks and oh my goodness me i am already obsessed i thought we could go ooh, go through this together as you can see there is one missing which i may have used this morning that i am already obsessed with i actually used the banana one which i am not normally the biggest banana fan like i don't really like banana flavored things i'm not the biggest fan of like banana bread i don't really like banana flavored yogurts because i just find it very artificial but this Oh, it just smells delicious i can't explain it it's not like a really strong really artificial banana scent it's much more 
just kind of fruity and fresh which i really really like because they've got the different hair masks for different kind of hair types which i think is really really exciting because it depending on your hair type will depend on which one you want to pick up so the first one we have is watermelon now this one is for fine hair and it says that it gives your hair four times more plumped which i just think is absolutely amazing they are all 97 percent natural origin ingredients um, and the fact that they've all got the vitamin c e and f in i think is amazing i don't really know what vitamin f does to tell you the complete and honest truth vitamin c is obviously really good at kind of bringing back that shine bringing back that kind of like that like sparkle to your hair vitamin e i think is really good with regards to like strength but vitamin f i'm not entirely sure exactly what the benefits are so i'm gonna have to look into that um but it says here that they are all vegan formulas it is 98 percent biodegradable formula tested under dermatological control and silicones for a no silicone sorry for a natural feel new formula up to eight times smoother let me give this one a little sniff oh that is very sweet very watermelony if you like a really really sweet scent you are going to love this i'm someone that i love putting hair mask in in the morning and just leaving it all day like just letting my hair kind of marinate in it i think is so important it's part of the reason i do love the slicked back bun look and i love the fact that despite the fact that i've got my shorter hair we can still slick it back in a bun because i feel like there's nothing better than the egghead look although i am wearing my glasses today and i do feel like whenever i am doing the egghead look oh the sun is coming out this morning that's quite nice um but if ever i am doing my kind of slick back look having glasses on i just feel like it makes me look so much more like an egg but it's one of those days i really cannot be bothered i'm literally just wearing the comfiest clothes today i wasn't even actually contemplating vlogging but then i thought you know what we'll get the camera out we'll have a bit of a chat and catch up after yesterday's shenanigans so that is why i look like this today um but yes the one that i have tried today is for nourishment so this one it says that it gives you seven times smoother hair and it is for dry hair now i'm definitely someone that has dry hair i feel like i just have dry everything i have dry skin i have dry hair i get dry cuticles dry nails like i need to be using a lot of things to moisturize and i do think especially at this time of year because it is still very cold here in the uk using products that are going to help with that kind of moisturization um so it's got all of the same kind of like things i said in the last one the main difference is that this one is for um dry hair instead so yeah it literally just says that if you want to use it as a conditioner you can apply it on wet hair and rinse off but for a mask apply on wet hair leave it for three minutes and rinse out thoroughly or you can leave in on wet or dry hair apply a little amount on lengths and tips so that is one thing i will say about these hair masks i never actually really use it up here i kind of just use it on the ends of my hair and then if there's any kind of left over just to slip back those flyaways that's when i'll use it kind of on my scalp but on the ends of your hair anything that's feeling a little bit dry and needs a little bit of nourishment month <laughs> does anyone have those words that you just say in like a really weird accent that you would never say to anyone else like alex and i always do that to each other like if we're having a really delicious like very nourishing meal we'll always be like oh look at this nourishment um so this is some very nourishing hair products um, and then the final one is coconut which i love the smell of coconut so this is for frizz prone hair now i think i'm gonna give this one to my sister because she does actually have c3 curls um so it is for 48 hour anti-frizz and all of these you can see the before and afters which i think is so interesting to see just like the difference that the hair masks make so i want to give this one a bit of a sniff test because this is basically what my sister's hair is going to smell like for the foreseeable oh, i have to say it's my favorite i'm almost jealous that i don't have bushy hair because that is gorgeous i really like a coconut smell that's not too i feel like the camera's moving as i've been chatting i do apologize if it's been moving really really slowly um but i feel like this coconut smell isn't artificial it's not too kind of like strong it's not too sweet it's just like a really really lovely natural coconut smell which i absolutely adore so the new ultimate blends hair mask so thank you so much to garnier for sending those over giving it a proper test today i feel like now is also the perfect opportunity to give yourself those pamper days i feel like today is going to be a bit of a just kind of relaxing doing a bit of an admin a bit of emails but predominantly a bit of a self-love pamper day feel like i really really need that today starting with my hair starting with the new garnier hair products one thing i also want to do today and i've been putting it off for a long time and actually i think today is probably the best time to do this thing so i'm not too busy with work things is a bit of a beauty clear out i feel like it's been such a long time since i've actually been through like my beauty stash and the kind of you know there's like reserve products that you keep in kind of like the back of a cupboard or you keep in like a spare drawer for when things run out but then sometimes you maybe like something runs out and you rebuy it again immediately or something runs out and you receive like a new product and you try something else and like you get 
kind of a little bit forgotten about with those things that are in the drawer so i do want to give myself a really big beauty declutter and clear out today i think that's what i'm gonna do now please do excuse the mess around me i feel like this wardrobe room might need a little bit of a declutter i currently have a pile of alex's clothes that he likes to do you know the pile that's like it's not quite dirty enough to go in the wash but it's not quite clean enough to go back in the drawers that's his pile over there but um i have just come in because this is where i keep my beauty stash down here that i thought we could go through but i also wanted to show you because i've realized i haven't shown you these new trousers yet and i am absolutely obsessed with them so as i said i've got like a really comfy outfit on i feel like this is the epitome of just like comfy cozies to wear at home i always like to elevate my cozies just like a little necklace i feel like it makes a big difference i'm just wearing my monica vinda dea huggies and my gorgeous little diamond necklace um and this is just naturally the uniqlo thermal that i picked up in my what i got in the january sales vlog it's actually a cozy one and actually it just works really really well it's like a normal scoop neck top and it's so soft i can't tell you how soft the uniqlo clothes are um but these trousers are a new pair of trousers from sweaty betty and i feel like these are just the perfect if you're looking for some like i think they're called palazzo trousers but like yoga pants at home comfy trousers these are the ones for you they have the most elasticated waistband i've ever felt they have pockets and they're a really gorgeous wide leg now i picked these up in a large and they are definitely too big for me um but i have already worn them so i can't return them so i've also ordered the medium so i'm gonna have two pairs a large for when i'm having like a really lazy at home day i know i'm not gonna be leaving the house and then a medium if i just want to be wearing like comfies but out and about um a little bit more um so yeah definitely pick this up sooner rather than later because according to the sweaty betty girls they are flying off the shelves at the moment they said that they are so so popular um, and i am absolutely in love with them so as I said, we are in my office because this is basically, oh my gosh, this is so heavy. My kind of extra beauty stash full of all of the beauty products that are either spares, they're either refills, they're either kind of like overflow products that I've not really gotten around to using. And this has gotten a little bit out of hand. I feel like it's just full of a lot of things that like, I definitely don't need this much. For example, I love the Pixi Glow Tonic, but in here I can literally see off just the top of this, I have one, two, three bottles of it just sitting at the top and I'm sure I probably have some like travel ones as well. Yep, I can see another one there, four bottles of Pixie Glow Tonic literally just sitting in my makeup box which is just so unnecessary it is so ridiculous sorry about the dressing gowns behind me you can tell how much i love a robe or a dressing gown by how many i have i think i probably have maybe like six or seven I'll probably do like a full dressing gown collection at this point but depending on my mood i'm always in the mood for a different dressing gown please tell me i'm not the only person that's like this but i feel like i need like on some days i need my really cozy dressing gown on fake tan days i need my fake tan dressing gown if i'm a little bit hot i need a bit more of like a loose a dressing gown i've also got like smart ones for when people come over i've got like medium ones when it's not too hot but it's not too cold please tell me i'm not crazy comment down below if you also have multiple dressing gowns in your collection but yeah the fact that i've got four bottles of the pixie glow tonic this one is literally open and halfway used as well is just a little bit ridiculous and showing how out of control my beauty collection has gotten recently um like i can see looking at this as well things like the um bobby brown i picked these up the other day they are the uh vitamin enriched face bases and i um i'm about to run out of one so i can literally open the box i can use one of them now and then i can just keep the other one without the packaging inside of the beauty collection then it just means it's a little bit easier to reach and then there's a few other products i haven't actually gotten around to trying yet that i know i've like maybe unboxed with you i've showed you in video and I've not actually finished the product before using this one like I never like to have multiple products open like the um bioma melting balm cleanser I'm really excited to try that um also the ultraviolet spf 50 super excited to try that the garnier vitamin c um daily fluid oh my gosh i need to tell you about this actually i made such a boo-boo the other day um and i'm so glad you haven't really noticed it in the videos but my chin at the moment is so textured and bumpy because if you remember when i unboxed the garnier skin active vitamin c it also came with the vitamin c cleanser and i've really been loving the cleanser it's like a really lovely brightening illuminating cleanser one piece of advice i would give use that cleanser in the morning because i made the mistake recently i was taking off my makeup with it because it's a good cleanser to take your makeup off and i used retinol that night and if there is one thing that any beauty experts know is that you never 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 mix vitamin c and retinol they do not react well 
on your skin and I had the worst I honestly thought I was having like an allergic reaction for a while because it was so itchy and I like broke out in like these tiny little bumpy spots and all I'm gonna say it was not a pretty sight um so that's just reminded me that I didn't tell you about that actually so yeah and I also have like two of the sculpted by Adri uh, sculpted by Amy Hydra tints in different colours depending on whether it's winter or summer. So we need to have a clear out of this, a big old beauty clear out. Some things can probably I can probably say goodbye to. Some of the things we're just gonna have a bit of a tidy up. So let's get going. <laughs> looking so much better now i feel like this isn't like the best storage in the world but in terms of overflow i feel like this isn't looking too bad at all so these are all products that i feel like i'm genuinely going to be able to get through products that i love i've got quite a lot of fake tans that i need to use it's actually a st moritz tan remover which i don't normally use tan removers um so i've said goodbye to one of them but i've kept that one because that's unopened i've got the skinny tan tan whip which just has ellie's tan whip on it in medium um so lots of fake tans over here i've got some like facial sprays which i do absolutely love especially in the summer um i've then got some more makeup removers over here so these are cleansers that i've maybe just like not got round to yet so pixie cleanser um liz earl cleanser i've got a body shop cleanser um and then i've kept two of the pixie glow tonics um and then some makeup bits that are kind of overflow makeup that i absolutely love like this lancome palette it's such a beautiful little palette so perfect if you like go away on holiday um because it's just got literally the exact colors that you need for a beautiful eye look um so yes that is looking so much better now and then these are the products that i just need to basically take into my kind of like more everyday makeup bag um so obviously the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base which i just absolutely adore we've got my sculpted by amy hydra mist which i do kind of want to get to using again this is in the shade three hmm maybe i should swap that i've got shade two in here because I'm very pale at the moment, so I might swap that over for shade two. Um, the Bobbi Brown Blush, the Brightening Blush, um, Brightening Brick, I think this is called. <gasps> so gorgeous. Look at that shimmer. I just absolutely love that. A couple of lipsticks um, and a little mini Jo Malone. This is Wood Sage and Sea Salt, which is one of my favourite scents, especially at this time of year. I feel like February, March time is just the time for Wood Sage and Sea Salt because it's kind of wintry, but it has a little bit of like a spring hint to it. So I really, really like that as well. So having taken over the bits into my dressing room that I needed um, and just putting in like my wood sage and sea salt kind of reminding me that these drawers could do with a little bit of organising. Now this one actually isn't too bad. These are the two desk drawers that I've got here in front of me full of just kind of like more of my everyday bits but also full of my perfume collection and I thought what might be quite nice actually is to have a little bit of a clear through my perfume collection because there's definitely a few perfumes in here like you can probably see this one is pretty much empty but also has gone yellow which definitely means that it has gone off and it is not okay to be putting perfumes on yourself that are yellowing that have gone off that aren't going to smell nice because all you're going to get is that like kind of alcoholy scent so those have definitely been in the drawer for far too long so i've got of course added my little wood sage and sea salt mini which i always love these ones from joe malang so they're the perfect handbag size um so i always have a couple i probably have more in handbags as well that i'm not even gonna bring out and so show you but i've got wood sage and sea salt which i love for now and then when it starts to get a little bit warmer a little a bit more spring like english pear and freesia i absolutely adore this perfume this is my signature scent i feel like it is safe to say in fact i've got the three here that i keep over on my tray behind me these i would say were like my three absolute favorites the three most worn and english pear and freesia is this one here and 
all of my friends if ever they smell someone wearing english parent free shirt they're like that's ellie that is ellie's scent i absolutely adore this one it's very fresh it's a little bit floral and a little bit fruity and that's what i really really like about it um now last year they also released the english pet and sweet pea and if you like something just a little bit less fruity and a little bit more floral and sweet this one is beautiful they're actually quite different i kind of regret that they called them both english pet and something because i feel like a lot of people maybe get confused between them and think they're going to be the same kind of perfume they are not the same at all. I would say English Pear and Sweet Pea is a lot sweeter. It's actually a little bit richer in my opinion. Um, and for me, a bit more of like a summertime fragrance. So I absolutely love them. They do layer up so beautifully though. That is the thing I do love about Jo Malone. Their perfumes layer up so stunningly i absolutely adore being able to like layer them so if you do have like a signature scent being able to layer something over the top i think is so so lovely so those are like my two favorites and then the other favorite that i've got that i would say is much more of like a wintry scent for me that i do love at this time of year is pomegranate noir absolutely adore pomegranate noir it is one of my favorites it's very rich it's very deep it's actually a scent that i would say it's quite unisex like i definitely think that guys and girls would love this scent it's also beautiful in like a candle for a bit more of like a cozy home vibe so i do absolutely adore that one i then from joe malone my kind of most recent um joe malone fragrance which i'm not gonna lie to have actually been wearing throughout january and i didn't expect to is ginger biscuit i was actually having a conversation with the fragrance specialist when i went to the wedding um event at bugle house in southampton and she was saying the exact same as me we were so surprised at how amazing this scent was i'm not gonna lie when i heard the scent was gonna be ginger biscuit i kind of turned my nose up at it no pun intended um because i feel like ginger biscuit i was like that's gonna be way too sweet you're gonna smell like like a kid no it is so beautiful and actually not too christmasy i think because there's no like there's no spices there's no cinnamon there's nothing like orangey in there the ginger is actually quite a year-round scent i would say so it's not one that i'm against wearing right now and i think especially in like october november time next year i am going to love this you can see how much i use i've got out of it i only got it in like november and that is how much i have spritzed it i have loved this one the one thing i will say about this one is it's definitely a lot more subtle than some of the other joe malone fragrances um whilst we're on a joe malone roll let's go for obviously the one that i was wearing yesterday scarlet poppy absolutely love it's red hibiscus which they have brought out which is actually really surprising because it's one that they've already done but they've changed the bottles they brought it out in the gorgeous deep red which i do love i feel like it feels very demure and very luxurious which i really really like about the scarlet poppy one um i have yellow hibiscus here which i used to have red hibiscus i think i gave it to lady c might still see if she's got it actually and if she's using it because if she's not might have to ask for it back but as you can see yellow hibiscus was a real favorite of mine this might be one to say goodbye to because looking at it it's starting to discolor so you can <laughs> I feel so feel so old having to deal with my glasses like having to pull them down it's starting to discolor um i feel like you can start to see the color going but it's still it still does have a beautiful scent very light very fresh this really reminds me of like going on holiday to hawaii i feel like this would be such a beautiful one if you're like going to the maldives or something like that so i do love yellow hibiscus and the new red hibiscus can confirm as a beautiful scent okay now going through the ones that i feel like i might have to say goodbye to one that i'm definitely going to unfortunately bin but you can tell that i've just been like clinging on to this because it's such a favorite of mine it's honeysuckle and divana part of the reason i forgot to kind of like I stopped wearing this is because I started smelling this as more of like a home scent. I have this in the candle and I absolutely adore it in the candle. It's just such a beautiful, yeah, you can, it still smells amazing, but I definitely don't think it's going to be really wearable. It smells very warming and inviting, which is what I really, really like about that. But that is one I'm going to have to say goodbye to. I may also, yeah, can you see how yellow that is? I'm also going to have to say goodbye to Peony and Blush Suede an absolute favorite but one that i would definitely have to repurchase this summer because i feel like it is just such a cult classic it is such a joe malone favorite everybody knows peony and blush suede i then have one that i really enjoyed actually this is my favorite one to layer up with scarlet poppy this is poppy and barley and this is a really lovely one because you've got that floral of the poppy but then you have this like freshness of the barley which i really really like it literally feels like you're running through a wheat field which i really like so that one is still looking strong i'm gonna keep that one in my collection uh another one i can probably say goodbye to it's not gone off but as you can see i have like nothing left in the bottle is blackberry and bay i feel like this is another joe malone classic cult favorite blackberry and bay is so so beautiful it's very it's just very like inviting 
very fresh, a little bit fruity. So I really loved that one. I used to wear that pretty much every single day. I do feel like these sizes in the Jo Malone perfumes are great because you can get through them a little bit quicker and there isn't the worry about them going yellow in your drawers. I'd also say do not keep them in direct sunlight because that will literally make them go so much more yellow, so much quicker. And I've just realized that all three of these and the same fragrance. I'm not joking when I say English Pear and Freesia is my favorite. Look at that. I literally have all three, two in just like the classic packaging and one in the limited edition packaging, which no, I've still got about half left. Yeah, I can definitely keep all three of these in my collection, but I like to take these ones away with me on holiday because obviously the size is so much more practical than the full size ones. So English Pear and Freesia really is a favorite. Then in terms of other brands, a few of my other perfumes in my collection, one that I absolutely adore, Molten Brown. The Molten Brown perfumes are to die for. They last such a long time and I really love how unisex they are. I'd say the only one that's like very, very like not unisex is Rose Junes. I don't really see a man wearing Rose Junes. I also love, is it Rose and Rhubarb? Rhubarb and Rose. That is another beautiful one, which I think I gifted to Lady C as well. And then I've gifted a couple to Alex, the um, Black Pepper and the Mesmerizing Oud absolutely adore molten at brown he has been wearing black pepper non-stop since i gave it to him as a christmas present so love that i then also have which i don't think i'm ready to say goodbye to my giorgio armani c this is another classic perfume that i feel like so many girls just absolutely adore to me this really reminds me of summertime it's not actually a seasonal fragrance i would say you could definitely wear this at all times of year, but I think for me, I just remember one summer wearing this non-stop and it really reminds me of that summer. It's so interesting how much our like memories are connected to scent. Apparently way more than any other sense of ours, like sight, sound, smell, and scent is just like the most strong sense that is connected to memory, which I think is so interesting. So I love that. I then have YSL Libra, I believe. This to me, I wear so rarely because it's like such a specific occasion I would wear this to. This to me is like an evening in winter on a date night. So actually this is a perfect one for Valentine's. I do love this one. It just smells absolutely incredible. It's like a really rich, a really like mature woman, but like sexy woman kind of a scent. I also love the bottle of this. So that is a beautiful one. And then I also have my Christian Dior. Love this perfume, got this for myself for Christmas last year not the year just gone but the one before that um ombre nui such a gorgeous one i feel like the reason why i haven't gotten the most wear is because these two kind of overlap for me they're both very much like evening date night perfumes especially in the winter um but i do love ombre nui i need to wear this one more often because it's so beautiful so so beautiful so that is my entire perfume collection it's quite nice to go through that as well because i feel like it's not often you get to go through your perfume collection and also see the ones that are probably about time to say goodbye to that may have expired may have gone off may be pretty much empty that there is no use in keeping in your drawer so it's so nice to have like gone through that and you can tell i'm a joe malone fan because 99 percent of my collection is joe malone but when you know i love something i really do love something <laughs> Well, after saying that I was gonna have a really relaxed, chilled out day of admin and laptop work, I've actually spent the majority of my day organizing, clearing out, and sorting out my beauty drawers, but I feel so good for it. You know, when you just like get in the mood to do a bit of a beauty organization and kind of like clear out, you're in that like clear out mindset, I feel like it's such a good time of year to do it. It's almost like a pre-spring clean as well. So I'm really, really happy with myself, but I feel like it's time to have a bit of a evening my hair has been marinating in the hair mask for long enough and it's time for a little bit of like a self-love routine pamponite me time so i'm gonna get my makeup off i want to give myself like a really really good like scalp scrub i also want to do the everything shower because there's nothing more satisfying than an everything shower and we have fresh sheets tonight is there anything better than everything shower washing your hair fresh sheets that is my idea of heaven. So I'm not going to be using um, the vitamin C um, cleanser. I've actually gone back to an old favorite. I feel like if ever my skin is like freaking out, ever it's like not enjoying life, the Elmer's Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm is exactly what I need. And actually, the product I feel like saved me 
was the gentle face exfoliating from Liz Earl because it was like such little under skin spots it was really hard to kind of get rid of them they were so itchy that I just needed to like get in deep with my kind of like exfoliator so I really loved this one because it's one that actually has beads in it um, so I really really like it it just says that it gently buffs away dead skin and impurities refines surface texture softens and clarifies so I love that so tonight I'm feeling face mask. I'm going to go for the Pixi Glow Mud Mask. I really, really love this one. I just want like a really deep, kind of like pulling all the impurities out of my skin face mask. And I'm actually going to use a new product that I recently even said. I've not had a chance to unbox this yet. This is from the brand Vice Versa, which I've never tried anything from them before. But I've seen so many people raving about their eye rejuvenators. This, so this is the ultimate under eye micro mask. It has hyaluronic acid, which you know, I'm the biggest fan of hyaluronic acid, peptides, and vitamin C. There's 12 masks in here. It's an intense six week program, and they recommend using two of these weekly for really like fine lines and dark circle treatment. And um, it says here when lines and dark circles become too much for your regular skincare to handle, add the innovative micro mask to your routine and see noticeable improvement in stubborn areas. 83% said vice versa, eye rejuvenated results are better and faster than traditional eye cream and 100% pure concentrated ingredients with 0% out of water. So this sounds like the perfect thing you can see at the back there, how beautiful that is. I also love the fact that they're clear. So they're not the scariest in the world. So you can definitely put these on. These are the kind that I feel like, especially if you wear glasses, you could put on and just go about your day and no one would know if you're having a bit of a like, no makeup, self love day. This is also just perfect of year to really like celebrate those days if you haven't recently i feel like this is your sign i feel like you need to book yourself just a me day a day of organizing doing a bit of decluttering pottering about the house having a bath having a shower having a bit of me time there's nothing more self-love than me time so that's what i'm gonna give myself this evening so i'm gonna pop these on get my makeup off and just enjoy the rest of my evening so i really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog you in my next one. Bye!